think I'm finally getting into some tech. But I'll wrap it around to politics somehow. Actually, I already know how. But that'll come in a later video. Uh, this is kind of my excitement about the announcement that happened a long time ago, actually. It's been like a week or more. Um, probably a couple weeks now. But anyhow, it's really exciting. It's going to be a while before they have the uh, release and everything, but they've announced the uh, product. And it is the flagship phone for Yola, or Jola, or Jola. I don't, I don't really know how you pronounce it. I think it's a Finnish startup. Um, they picked up Migo, where Nokia left off. Um, actually, that was trans... Uh, that was turned into the Mer project, but they built off of that, and they have what they call Selfish, which is an operating system that is going to be amazing, and I can't wait to have a device with it. I'm currently using... Where is that phone at? Currently using an old, stupid flip phone from Nokia. It's actually a temp phone, because my phone died. But anyhow, if you haven't seen Yola's new smartphone, their flagship phone, I don't think the specs are going to be amazing, but they're going to be adequate, and the operating system is the really juicy part about it. It's amazing. It looks so cool. The hardware itself is interesting. They're doing something new with it. I think you should go check that out for yourself. Uh, the part I'm really talking about is the other half. And there's been a lot of speculation about what we could do with that as as a third-party developer. Because I really hope that maybe I could do something with it. Probably nothing big, but something. Anyhow, Yola has done some really cool stuff with this phone and the operating system. And it's just beautiful, and if you haven't seen it, you really need to. It's kind of weird that they're jumping into the market right now. Because it's a little saturated, and there's kind of duopoly going on with Apple and Android fighting over everything. And Apple winning in some cases, I hate to say, and Android winning in most other cases is what I would say anyhow. That, that, that's my perspective. But Yola has been able to do something kind of unique. They've taken uh, some code and they put it in with theirs, allowing them to use a lot of, if not all, the Android applications that are available for that platform. They won't be able to install the Play Store, so you won't be able to get from that, but I'm sure you'll be able to sideload Amazon App Store and F-Droid and a few other application directories where you can get Android applications to put on your phone anyhow. They have some live tile-like things, kind of like Windows, except better, because it's all about multitasking and it's making multitasking a real thing. It's also got a lot of uh, gestures and swipes, kind of like the Ubuntu phone's been showing off, but it's doing it better. This was also pre-Ubuntu phone, I believe. I really just am so excited about Yola. I know that it's not coming to the U.S. right now, scheduled for the first device. They may change their mind, and I really, really hope they do. Maybe they see this and they'll be like, oh my gosh, there's someone in the United States that really wants one. And hopefully you'll go join YOLA and be unlike the rest.